Holy shit. Man, I knew what it was gonna say, but this one's hell one hell of a creepy voice. I knew it. It's starting. Santa started the incinerator. Fuck. Man, I never thought I'd hear that damn voice again after nine years. What the hell? What the hell? What are you talking about? It's nine years this, nine years that. And when it's not nine years something, then you're talking about some sort of fucking experiment? What in God's name are you talking about? You aren't making any sense. I'm sorry, Lotus, but I really, really don't have time to explain it right now. I promise I'll tell you everything once we get out of here. But... Automatic incineration will take place in 17 minutes. You know what that means, right? Incinerate means burn. What kind of idiot do you think I am? I know incinerate what incinerate means. Well, god damn it! Okay, okay, fine. I won't ask anything else. Talk about whatever you want. But you have to do something for me. Seven, figure this out. What? Why me? Just shut up and stop this thing. How the hell? There has to be some sort of emergency shut off button. There isn't anything like that. How the hell do you know? Because I looked for it nine years ago. Yeah, Lotus isn't happy about that. Can't really blame her. Wait. The floor isn't- it's moving. What else can I say about it, but... What the hell is that? What else could I say, but... What is that? The floor opened and a machine rose up out of it. It looked like a computer. At least, it kind of did. There was a monitor, keyboard, and a cross-shaped face device of some kind. Something about the ma machine scared me, but I, for but I forced myself to walk up to it. I was terrified. Tears poured down my face. I wiped them off, even as more took their place, and I forced my and forced myself forward. <laughs> I looked for it, and that's why you couldn't find it, cause you're blind. Finally, I reached it. I looked at the screen. Have you guys understood it about what the double screen means already? Yep. I played the game, so yeah. This over here is Junpei, and this over here is Akane. Yeah, we're, we're shifting between them seamlessly. It's fantastic. Finally reached it. I looked at the screen. It was blank. All I saw was my own frightened face, staring back at me from the glass drenched in tears. All I can see on the screen is a reflection of my own face. I'm looking kind of freaked out. NPC sounds like a job for Lotus. Yep, it's been the- it's, yeah, actually, yeah, I noticed since the prologue. In the prologue, whenever Junpei's speaking, he's speaking right here. And the narrator has been here, and obviously the narrator right now is Akane, so, yeah. I'm kind- I know I'm sweating like crazy, but seeing it kind of drives it home. Okay, Junpei, just calm down, alright? Everything's gonna be okay. Ugh, man, I wish that thing would just shut up. Alright, back to this thing. If it's only showing up now, it's gotta be important. But what the hell am I supposed to do with it? Hey, move. Gah. Hey, we're all tense, lady. That doesn't mean you gotta shove people around. Okay, it's turned on. There's nothing on the screen, though. This is bad. This is really bad. If there's nothing on here, how are we supposed to do anything with it? Sure, just push buttons. I'm sure that'll... It's Sudoku! Well, at least it's on now. Jesus, it's Sudoku, isn't it? Oh my god, it's a Sudoku puzzle. It's not just Sudoku. It's a nunnery Sudoku, isn't it? Technically, that's not how it goes, but there's a twist to it. You'll see. That's on the screen, though. What is this? What the hell? It looks like some sort of puzzle. It's very fitting for a puzzle for 999, yeah. It's got a bunch of numbers scattered across by a 9 by 9 grid. The number range from 1 to 9. Do you think that if we solve this puzzle, 
and the incinerator will stop. Damn it, nobody will be able to get past this puzzle. So though is always not a theory. I know it's always not a Shut up, clap up. Yeah, we'll we'll can we can hope, right? Alright, puzzle, how do you work? Man, the goddamn voice again. Jesus Christ, 13 minutes to solve the puzzle, I guess. Can we really do this? My heart feels like it's gonna pop. My heart was pounding like it was about to explode. I started at, I stared at the puzzle on the screen. I was sure I had to solve it somehow, but I had no idea how. My connection to Jumpy had been gone for a while. His mind was gone. Couldn't get any more information from him. I felt the seconds tick by as I stared at the screen completely lost. My cheeks felt as hot as tears poured over them. Before this game, but it was really easy. Sudoku is really easy, actually. I really like Sudoku. Sudoku is fun, but sometimes you have to take a chance to get stuff right. Yeah, and then I heard a voice. Hey, what are you doing? It was muffled. I turned around. Pressed against the window in the entry door was a face, a frightening evil face. It was Hongo. How long had he been watching me? Uh, don't know what to do. He was yelling, but his voice was still muffled. It's simple, really, but I suppose I might as well tell you. Solve the puzzle in that machine. His laughter was muffled by the door but still tore at my heart with, like, claws of, vicious, of a vicious monster. I bit my lip and glared at Hongo, struggling to hold back hot tears. You're a terrible person. I hate you. Oh my, how could you call a gentleman such as myself a terrible person? That's not very nice. I'm quite fair. I don't use tricks or play dirty. You see, I, I've even left you a, a way out. A way out? Don't you, didn't you hear me? All I ha you have to do is solve that puzzle. Do that and you can stop the incinerator. What's the point of stopping it? You'll only capture me and make me do this all, all again. I'm not going to listen to you. If you're just gonna going to throw me back in here, I might as well just die now. My goodness, haven't you listened to anything I've said? I told you I'm a fair man. If you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will, turn, will in turn activate. If this experiment is to deliver valid results, there must be a chance of success. If you succeed, you will escape. The verification function of the red? Then I remembered. Before Hongo left the room, he had scanned two bracelets into the red. Ah, so you do remember. Right now, there are two numbers in the red. The first one's one, and the second is three. Say, Akane, what's your number? I looked down to my left hand. The face on the bracelet showed a five. Oh, so perfect, you know, five. June pays also five. Ah. Uh. Anyway, I ran to the door with the nine on it. I grabbed the red and put my hand against the scanner panel, but it didn't activate. Really, aren't one of for the listening, are you? I hear Hongo's muffled voice from the from across the room. I already told you, didn't I? Once you solve the puzzle, the verification fuck <laughs> fucking hell, tearing into Gary Johnson. I hate this. I already told you, didn't I? Once you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will activate. In other words, if you haven't solved the puzzle, you can't enter your number. What kind of fool are you? Why, why are you doing this? You can never understand. You don't know what it's like to spend every day surrounded by monkeys. Now, start the experiment. Solve the puzzle. I can't. I don't know how. Of course you don't. Isn't that the point? You understand, don't you? Access the morphogenetic field and find the solution. Hello, current issues joke. Ha! Ah! I can't. Then you'll die. You'll burn alive. Haha, <laughs> it's going to be quite hot in there in a few minutes. I imagine it'll be very painful. Ha 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 laugh echoed across the room, and even after his face disappeared from the window, I could hear it. 
Likes in 10 minutes. Junipate, talk and do something. Let me do this puzzle. Because I cannot, see, I cannot read the numbers in this area, so I can't figure out the puzzle. I was crying. After gulping subs broken by hiccups, that she, great gulping sucks broken by the I was terrified. I could feel my fear pressing down on me like a tremendous weight. Somehow, I forced my shaking legs to carry myself, uh, me back to the device. Or myself. Whatever. I stared at the empty monitor. I can't. I just can't. There's no way I can figure this out. What was, go what was I going to do? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't even know where to start. Fear scattered my thoughts and all I could do was... And all I could think was how I was going to die. In five minutes... And Junpei stared at the screen. Nice job, everyone. I know, right? My palms were sweaty, and my blood was boiling in my veins. It was hot. So hot. I couldn't breathe. I felt dizzy. My heart roared in my chest as if it would pound itself to pieces. I reached into my pocket. I wrapped my hand around the thing I'd come back to get, the doll Junpei had given me. At last, at least I had that. I held tight with I held it tight with both hands and prayed. Help me, Junpei. Help me. Help me. Help me. Jumpy. Jumpy. And that's please help me. Jumpy. And that's when we're we come back to here and help her survive and somehow she reappears i don't know who the hell is akane shut up shut the hell up seven and lotus don't understand i think clover and snake have an idea though clover's looking at me and i think snake may have figured it out no it doesn't matter they're in my way where'd she go maybe over here akane akane can you hear me akane say something Fuck, did something break our connection? I swear I just heard her. Shit. Akane, answer me. Akane. Jumpy? I spun around. I heard a voice. His voice. I looked around. He wasn't in the room, of course, but I'd hear it so clearly, like he was right there. Jumpy. I screamed as loud as I could. Immediately, he, I heard him call me, call back. Call me back. Whatever. Akane! Jumpy! That's her. She's there. Then that means... Akane, are you in the incinerator right now? Yes, I am. How, how did you know? Now I understand what Santa meant. Right. There's only one way to help her. You were brought here to help my sister. To save Akane. I think I get it now. This is... I, I really like DS games because they really do good use of both screens. Seven minutes to solve the Sudoku puzzle. Jumpy, we don't have time. As quickly as I could, I told him that I had to solve the puzzle, the puzzle in order to stop the incinerator. Got it. And I do. I get everything now. At last, I finally understand what all of this means. I know why the Nunnery game was held today. I know why we were kidnapped and brought here. It was all for this moment. All of this was planned out to le lead to this one moment. Oh my god. This is this is insane. I can't believe it. But there's only one possible answer. June is. Zero is. Akane Kurashiki. She recreated the history of the future she had a glimpse of nine years ago. She tried to save herself that, that way nine years ago. No, she's trying to solve herself right now. That means that there's only one thing for me to do. Even if this is all some sort of insane plan, I will save her. I will save Akane Kurashiki. I must save her, no matter what. Six minutes, Jumpy? Yeah, I know. Just hang on, alright? I promise I'll get you out of there. <sighs> I'm not gonna let you die, and I'm so glad I'm not using face cam because fucking this game is so tiring and if I had to be in face cam right now it would be even more tiring 